Hi, I'm Matt Dwyer. Today I'm playing this wonderful Eastman AR372 CE Archtop guitar. And before I go any further, I'd just like to let you know that I'm going to post my PayPal details under the screen. If you're enjoying the lessons and you'd like to help out, keep the lessons going, then that'd be really cool. Now, today we're going to get into the strange, arcane, and what can be downright scary world of what most people call jazz chords, okay? Now, they can be, at first, a bit confronting. It took me a long time to actually get used to them because I'd see really long chord names like E flat and major seven or something like that. It was just like, it just looked hard. You know, they, it, it's just confronting. But I figured out a way to make it easy. And what I do is, whenever there's a new chord, or when I was learning these chords, I would actually go down to the cowboy chord area. I call those the cowboy chords. Now we'll start with the C. Now the C chord, that's one of the first chords you'll learn on guitar. That's you, that's the chord you usually learn after you learn to hold your pick. It's one of the first chords ever that anybody learns. Now, this is a C major chord. It's a nice chord. Now, to make it a jazzier sounding chord, we could play that as a C major seventh chord. Now, without getting into the theory of it, what makes it a C major seven chord is just taking your index finger off there, and instead of having a C, we have a B. Now in the key of C, B is a major seven. Now just changing one note makes a huge difference to the sound of the chord. We go from C to C major seven. Now that C major seven or any major seven, it's got that really nice kind of dreamy almost quality. And you're actually using fewer fingers to play what at first seems like a more complex chord. You're only using two fingers instead of three. So you would have heard that in, if, even if you're not into jazz, you would have heard it in, say, songs like that, that we're not going to go too far into for legal reasons. So there's our C major 7 chord. Now the great thing is, once you learn that shape, you can play a major 7 chord in any key just by using that shape as you would a bar chord that you already do, probably using E or A. You use those as bar chords, you can use that C major 7 shape as a bar chord. It's a little bit tricky at first because it's more of a stretch, but now there's our C major 7. If you see E flat major 7, well, there's the root note. And you just play it like a bar chord. See that? Or E major 7. If you see something that says F sharp major 7, that can be a scary sounding chord if you see it on a page, but all it is, you just find the F sharp, there's your root note using that C major 7 as a bar chord. So we're starting from that C major 7. That's an F sharp major 7, which is pretty cool. Now, in future lessons, we're going to talk more about these more complex chords, but that's where we're going to leave it today. You can take that on board. So all, all you need to remember is that you take that regular C chord, take your index finger off, comes a C major seven, and you can use that as a bar chord in any key. All you need to remember is the root note is your little finger. So have fun with that, and I'll see you at the next lesson. Bye for now.